This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Courtney Johns with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Just two weeks since the inauguration and the National Political Action Committee is already targeting a Nebraska lawmaker. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is running ads criticizing Congressman Don Bacon. He's one of seven Republicans the group is criticizing for not voting to impeach former President Donald Trump after last month's Capitol chaos. The group is spending half a million dollars on the ad campaign. Congressman Don Bacon told our partners at the Omaha World Herald, quote, the president called for unity just over a week ago and his party is already slinging mud. Well, it might feel like things are headed back toward normal. Some events are still not able to happen. Holy Name Catholic Church's fish fry is one of the latest ones to be canceled. On the church's Facebook page, it announced the decision was made for the safety of volunteers and patrons. This year would have been the fish fry's 40th year. Normally during the weekly events, the church raises tens of thousands of dollars that they then turn around and donate. Holy Name says it hopes to celebrate the Lenten season on an online ca capacity. And on 3 News Now, meteorologist Chris Swaim, after the warm Wednesday, we get back on Thursday. Temperatures are set to drop overnight, holding in the mid-30s, enough to keep the initial round as rain. This system speeding up a bit, and what that means for us is the lion's share of the snow falls overnight early, 3, 4, 5 a.m. Some of those darker blue bands working their way through. Now, this will linger likely through the Thursday morning commute. Snowfall gradually getting lighter, wind's still a problem, visibility could be reduced, to likely clean up underway early Thursday morning. Morning. This moves off east. We could break some sunshine by the time we get to the afternoon, but temperatures will be much colder in the 30s in the morning hours in the 20s by the afternoon. One to three inches in the darker blue. That area a chance to get a little bit higher, but I think all of us could see up to two inches of snow out of this system. It's fast moving. It's got a lot of moisture to work with, though, likely heavy wet snow. I'd be careful shoveling it, even though it won't uh, be that much. 30 degrees overnight. The mix arrives after midnight, then transitions to snow early in the morning hours. Temperatures fall quickly. Many of us back in the mid 20s by the afternoon. Wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Any light snow that we have falling, visibility could be impacted. Some slick roads. Bottom line, take it slow tomorrow. We'll gradually clear out on Friday, a chance for some light flurries, then temperatures really drop. 7 degrees in a Saturday morning, 15 for a high on Saturday. Another snow chance looks light at this point, a more substantial snow, another several inches by Sunday. High of 11 degrees Sunday into Monday, overnight lows sub-zero, and this has some staying power through at least midweek next week. Get a large one-topping pizza for only 13 bucks when you buy two, all the favorites. You choose just two for 26. Godfather's Pizza. Do it.